sign. What's up guys? We are about to enter into Minnesota. Hey guys, Yo, what's in up? We had just crossed over into Minnesota from Iowa. Nathan decided that we were gonna go to a twins game today. Well, I shouldn't say today. Let's see, earlier this week he asked if we could go to a Twins game. And so we looked up the schedule and it just so happened that today they are playing the Los Angeles Angels. So we have two of our favorite teams, the Minnesota Twins and what used to be the Anaheim Angels, which is now the Los Angeles Angels. And so we're kind of excited because we're, I think, going to catch a home run by Mike Trout. Or Albert Pujols. Or someone, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Nathan's a big Twins fan. I like the Angels. I like the Twins, too. But I will chase down that person with that ball. I will chase that person. We're going to go after a ball. <laughs> We're just having a little Father Sunday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Super excited about it. The game's at one o'clock, so it's about a three-hour drive from uh, Humboldt. I live in Humboldt, Iowa. Uh, it's about a three-hour drive to the stadium. Uh, not about. It's about three hours and ten minutes. So three, yeah, uh, right, right about three hours. Depends on how often you stop, I guess. But uh, you've only stopped once. But with the game going at one o'clock, we should be able to go down, watch the game, and still come home and not have to get a hotel room or anything like Wait, that. Wait, how long did it take us right there to get to the border? That just took us about an hour and 20 minutes to the border of Iowa to Minnesota. Wait, but if it take, it would take like, that means that it would take like five hour hours. And a half. That would mean it's about an hour and a half. It's five hours because. And then from the border it's. Because eight, nine, 10, 11 is like four hours. Eight, nine, 10. So it's no. four hours. It's about four no, hours. No, we didn't leave until on nine. So nine. So 10, you start with ten. 11, when you're at nine, you start counting at ten. 10 so ten, 11, eleven, twelve. But then we have to get tickets and we have to make one stop to get some gas. And it looks like it's gonna rain. Then we have to get to our seat. And we wanna get there just a little bit early. It looks like it's gonna rain. It does kind of look like it's gonna rain. It's kinda cloudy today and overcast. some sort of rain the last couple of days but, but we're super excited to watch the Los Angeles Angels and the Minnesota Twins because we love both of those teams and it is the only time this year that they are going to meet unless it's in the playoffs but during the regular season this is the only this is this is the only weekend they played last night and then they play this afternoon and then they play Sunday afternoon as well but which that would have been kind of fun Are if we'd have planned a little bit better. We could have got a hotel the room, in the gone to the game today, got a hotel room, and then gone to the game tomorrow. But we got to go to Des Moines tomorrow to get some stuff for vacation because we are actually headed to Riverside, California so I told this them on next my blog. week. I already told them on my blog. Okay, well, we have it on this one. Yeah. So we're, we're headed to California this next week. And it's super exciting. So Ellie, we're gonna go to when you took Ellie, Des Moines tomorrow. That first weekend that the pool opened the with pool. Melanie and Emma and Ellie and and uh, get some stuff for vacation. I think they need some. It was the day when socks. you went to Fort Dodge when everybody, when I was like home alone. Oh, okay. Then you, uh, you yeah, did some I of that. Did some okay. Of that. So Nate's got a vlog all about our trip. So well, I just did we've got an update. we've got some super exciting things. We're gonna, be, we're gonna be celebrating my dad's seventieth birthday. Don't say that. He watches these. No. Well, his birthday's on Thursday, so we're gonna celebrate it with him. Oh yeah. So, but it's a surprise. What? He doesn't know about the party. What the? Heck? I never said anything about a party. <laughs> something that I don't know? <laughs> Nathan, do you know something that I don't know? You must know something I don't know. You literally just said it. <laughs> no, I said uh, his Replay birthday. that footage. Replay it. I said Replay that, that footage. Replay that footage. His birthday is Thursday. He turns 
70 years old on Thursday. The man is still walking around and active and still works full time, works like 80 hours a week, like he's still 40, 42 years old. So it's very exciting that he gets to be as good as his health as he is, huh? What are you, 80? No, I'm no, not. those gray hairs. So oh, I know. Like These gray hairs are all from you, buddy. <laughs> and your mom and your sisters. Every one of these right here is. In fact, it's kind of funny because I had a guy at work, one of the guys I work with, I just got a haircut a couple weeks ago and he asked me if I, he asked me after I got my haircut the next day if I got my tips frosted, if I frosted my tips. And I thought for a second, what the, no, I didn't do anything to tips, of like, like, did I do blondes? He's talking about the gray hairs that I got going on, the salt and pepper look that I'm, oh, I started laughing. I was, it, it took me about 10 seconds and then I started giggling and was like, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess in the last year my tips have become a little more frosted than normal. I used to get my hair cut because when it was longer, I'd get all the gray hairs and if I cut my hair, I'd get it, I'd, when it was freshly cut, you couldn't see all the gray hairs. Well, apparently now when it's freshly cut, it looks like I frosted my tips. So, there you go. <laughs> Must be getting old. Yeah, you can tell. All right. Well, we'll see you soon. We're going to stop at a gas station up here and get some gas. And we'll be back here when we are closer to the stadium. We're so um, excited. Go look, at, go look at that video that I posted, like, right up there. It's going to pop up. Try and put it in the corner. There you go. Rain, rain, go away. Come another day. We are in a rain delay. We got some really, really good seats though. We are right behind the plane. Congratulations for the so we got the good seats, got half price tickets by a guy on the street. I actually thought they were kind of fake, didn't you? We kind of thought, oh, I wonder if they're fake. But they got us in. We're in and now we're, uh, we're all the way down there. Right down there, second day. Second row, right behind home field, or right behind home, home field, home plate. If we can get past this rain delay, we're going to be in business. This can be an exciting game. However, it looks like it's supposed to rain for a couple more hours, so I don't know what they'll do if, they, if we just get stuck here. I've never been at a baseball game that it's done rain delays. See, I think it was three years ago they they uh, tore down the Metro Dome, which was where, when I was younger, where we would go to games, and you didn't have to worry about the weather because it was indoors. So no matter what the weather was, you got to watch the game. But then they built this new Target Field, and they didn't make it completely indoors, and so we're stuck in a rain delay. Kind of stinks. Last year, we uh, last year we came to a game and we were we were she told that she did see the flag right there in that section. Screech pass foul and first no good. Point to the deck she'll get right up. Jasmine Thomas, and we've seen this by Courtney Williams, just had an extra gear. Watch her there last two steps to get around right the fouls. Draw the foul, try for the finish. And we never, we kept thinking we were going to get a home run ball, but then they never hit one. So this year we thought, this year we thought we would go behind home plate and maybe we could catch a foul ball. Right, buddy? This year we've got our glove too. Nate's got his glove going. We're going to catch a foul ball if they can get the game started. It's going to be a blast. Looking forward to it. Oh, it just seems like it's not going to start. It's, you can't tell, but it's just raining constant. And they got the field tarped. 
Yeah. We'll see if we can get going here soon. Great day for a ball game. It's gonna happen here. We got a great seat right behind. Okay. We got some killer seats here, right behind home plate, second row. That is going right there. On the field. We're just still in a rain delay, but they're getting the field prep. Taking the field off. They're uncovering the field. Yay! It's gonna happen! We got a game! Finally! Just Finally. After three hours of sitting! Three hours of waiting and they're taking the field off! It's gonna happen! It's gonna happen in 10 minutes and it's gonna start pouring! We could get another rain delay, it's in the future, but it looks like we're going to play some game, Angels Twins. <laughs> Fans, thanks for your patience, as you can see the ground. We had no patience. Taking the turn off the infield, and first pitch is tentatively scheduled for 5 to 10. 5 10, a 1 o'clock game happening at 5 10. We got our gloves ready, we're going to catch a foul ball. This is going to be bomb, I'm loving it. They got the water all off of the field. The ground screws been working real hard. They got a whole bunch of dirt sitting over in here, taking off. Added a whole bunch, get rid of all the wet spots. What time is it? We scored some killer season season seats from a, a guy across the street from the ticket booth. Sold them to us for half price. So we're sitting, sitting right. Right at the home plate, right behind home plate. Gonna catch a foul ball right above the netting there. I'm loving it. We got a target field going. What's that one in Metro? What's that? Metro. Target field. What no, I wanted Metro. Oh, he wanted to take the, the Metro train that, that goes from the Mall of America to here and we didn't we didn't think we had enough time and then we had a three hour four hour delay so we would have had time to take the train but it's like a half hour train ride or something like that so it still takes time to I guess it gets you out of the city which is the hardest part of the drive home is getting out of the city Oh, they're playing the parachute game all day now. There, what goes up? It doesn't get wet. You know what I'm Getting that car ball nice and ready. Pretty sweet. Alright, here's the opening pitch. It's gonna happen. The game's gonna play. Get it, Kato? Yeah! All right. We're gonna play some ball. I would just slam. Time to play some ball. I've thrown from farther with mountains. Love it. All right, we're gonna get underway. We got Mike Trout sitting there on the back of the box. On deck. One of the best players in baseball right now, right there. Angels versus 
Just did a home run. He's running the bases. He's your designated yeah. He makes $25 million a year. He's going to be their home run guy. Boom, boom. Still How about that? 2 nothing now. No, we haven't got a ball even gone our way. We'll get one. It's the coming. Go like we got three up. more innings. The goblin like goes straight up and it went right back down. Yeah, where it got we came here. real close, but it wasn't quite. Hold on, fifth inning. Six. Sixth inning. I'm sorry, Angels. Three more are winning innings. what? One to nothing. Yeah, run. just starting the sixth inning. Yeah, they got a home run. Stinkers. That Kinsler hit a home run. Ian, I think is his name, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, oh, well. Really, if we can get to the stretch, I'll be real happy. Having a great time. Great night for baseball now that the rain's yeah. still. They're offering free tickets because of the uh, rain delay. You were in the rain delay, so we're going to get a couple new tickets to come back, right? Uh, it's going to be good. Can we do a good time. The giveaway? Oh. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. Don't care if they never get that poet's root. Root, root for the high They don't mean it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes you're out at the old Playing some baseball. Well, that's why I never even went to a ball game. Yeah. So it's been a long, long day. We the Angels ended up winning two. Two to one. Two to one. Two to one. Very exciting game. Obviously, uh, got great seats right behind home plate. Ended up being a long day. It's 10:30 now. We'll probably not get home till right at midnight. And. Uh, I think we left at what 8:45 this morning, so that four-hour delay it ended up being kind of a long day, but it was an absolute blast. I loved having a father Sunday with this young man right here. He was awesome to be with. He even did good during our four-hour delay. That was not a lot of fun. We just had to sit there and be patient, and there wasn't anything to do other than to just sit and stare at the rain on the field wasn't it buddy so but we're on our way home should be home here shortly a lot of fun we needed metro stadium what's that metro stadium no that was target field no we needed metro oh next time we go nathan wants to take the train that goes from no the... I'm... we should have Metro Stadium. Metro Stadium. The one that was closed in. Oh, that was, yes, that was the new Viking Stadium. I'm no, sorry. No, the old no? one that got torn down. Oh, the Metrodome. Yes. Yeah. 
we needed the Metro Dome today. The Metro Dome got blown up about three years ago, and this was a brand new stadium that the Twins built. Last year was the first year it was open, and so I guess two years ago, they, they two summers ago, they played in the Metro Dome, but that was enclosed, so rain or shine, we got to watch the game. Whatever time the game started, it was rain or shine, because uh, it was all indoors. And this new stadium that they built is not indoors at Target Field. It's not indoors, so not completely enclosed like the Metrodome was, huh? So, and the King Dome I grew up with when I was a little kid in Seattle. I used to go to a lot of Mariners games, and the, the King Dome was enclosed, and I don't think the new Mariners Stadium either. They blew the King Dome up here. I don't know, 10 years ago maybe? Maybe it's been that long. Maybe it's been a couple years since then. But, um, but anyway, it was about that. that They got rid of the Kingdom, which is kind of sad because if we ever went back to Washington, it would be fun to go to the Kingdom and go to a Mariners game, but it's not even in the same place anymore. So um, anyway, it was a fun game with the Twins. Even though the Twins lost, the Angels won. We still win. We've got a day at the ballpark. I'm kind of a partial Angels fan too, as well. So, going to an Angels but that's, game next yeah. week or the week after. Yeah, we're headed to California next week, so we were talking about going to an Angels game next week. It'd be kind of fun. They're playing the Athletics, which Didn't I you already say that earlier on the drive there. Could have done. Could have done. Could have done. But we're driving home, so we better skitty daddle looking at the road instead of videoing <laughs> yeah. but we wanted to let everyone know thanks for watching today and uh, we appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch us at the Hope hopefully you enjoyed it you guys have a good night Nathan's obviously on the tired side of life so we will talk to you later peace out Next vlog. Next vlog up. We'll talk to you later. You guys have a good night.